Hi, I'm back to introduce value chain analysis in this particular module. The value chain analysis considers the firm as a sequential process of activities which are value creating. Michael Porter was instrumental in illustrating the value chain for understanding comparative advantage in firms considers two broad categories of activities in value chains. We will now briefly describe these activities. Our descriptions of these activities draw substantially from the explanation of these activities provided by Michael Porter and by Gregory Dess, Tom Lumpkin and Alan Eisner. Firstly, value chain activities are divided into primary and secondary activities. Secondary activities are also referred to as support activities. Primary activities can be further subdivided into inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing, sales and finally service. Primary activities therefore involve the creation of products or services and subsequently its sale to the buyer and its after sales service activities. Inbound logistics relate to activities such as purchasing, inventory, materials handling, warehousing and returns to suppliers. Operations are associated with activities which involve the transforming of inputs into final products and services. This includes activities in actual production such as machining, assembly, facility operations and testing. Outbound logistics involve the collecting, storing and the distribution of the product or services to buyers. It relates to activities such as material handling, order processing and delivery operations. Marketing and sales activities involve the inducements aimed at end users to make purchases which include advertising, sales personnel, channel selection and pricing. And finally, service relates to activities that enhance or maintain the value of the product or service. This typically involves installation, dealer support and end user after sales activities. In addition to primary activities, the firm's value chain includes support activities or secondary activities. These are subdivided further into general administration, human resource development, technology development and finally procurement. Typically, the support activities interface with the entire value chain of the firm. They create value for the firm either through their own doing or through interrelationships with primary activities. General administration includes planning, information services, finance and legal activities. Human resource management involves recruiting, training and compensation activities. Technology development typically relates to research and development activities. They tend to support specific primary activities and may also contribute to supporting the entire value chain of the firm. Procurement is usually associated with activities involving purchases of the firm's entire value chain and is not confined to the direct production related inputs of the firm alone. 